what's up guys again welcome to i teach credit as you know this is my card this is my dream the only way i can get to this card is by helping educate you on credit i had a great question today a guy said to me he goes i noticed we were talking about credit and stuff and he says i noticed you have all american express cards or mostly american express cards is that the better card to get guys the answer is the better card for you to get is the card that you like the most that gives you the best earning or rewards points for every dollar spent and that has the programs or the annual fees that work for your budget or lifestyle. I particularly love American Express for three reasons. The first reason is the history of American Express. When American Express first came into the credit card world, they came into the credit card world with charge cards. When you see the Centurion like this, that means it's a charge card. What does that mean? It means you had to pay the balance in full. So they weren't setting people up where they spent a thousand dollars and then at the end of the month they say hey make your minimum payment of 50 bucks and then that way people would be paying compounding interest forever american express said you spend a thousand dollars you owe a thousand dollars plain and simple second i like american express because of their customer service their customer service and i have cards with chase with barclays with city with discover i have a bunch of different credit cards i prefer american express customer service over any other company's customer service out there, period. I had twice, I had fraudulent charges. The one time I called them up and I said, hey guys, I just had a fraudulent charge. I know it wasn't me. They said, wow, that was only seven minutes ago. Don't worry about it. We're going to send you a new card. They overnighted me a card, got rid of the charge, and I didn't have to worry about it. Zero fraud liability, guys. I didn't have to worry about anything. They literally sent me a card the next day to not interrupt my life or my lifestyle. The third is I happen to like American Express and what they stand for from their rewards points and travel standpoint. They're really about people living a simple luxury life. Now I'm gonna say luxury because obviously when you're traveling, that's vacation. Vacation is a luxury item, not a necessarily needed item. I'm not sure you could be needed, but it's more of a want. But when you do it through a luxury portal like Amex Travel, you're, they're promoting more, you know, experience driven things they're they're trying to get you to go see the world and do fun things you know not just a normal local hotel or a local journey they're trying to get you to go see the world and a lot of what they talk about in their marketing material and even a lot of their promotional material when they're talking about points i look over that way because that's where a lot of my mail stuff goes they're talking about travel and luxury hotels luxury pools you know cliffside beach resorts and stuff like that things that really interest me and that's why I like American Express. So to answer your question, though, you can use any credit cards that you like that fits your lifestyle. And in fact, he said, is a credit card a credit card? From a credit report standpoint, it doesn't matter if it's American Express, if it's Chase, if it's Barclays, if it's Discover. Could it even be a local bank or credit union credit card? A credit card on a credit report is a credit card. A charge card, which we've talked about before, is not like a credit card. A charge card is not going to show a credit limit with a certain usage. The charge card is just going to say, you spent this much, you owe this much on the credit report. A credit card is going to say, hey, here's a $5,000, $10,000 limit. Your balance is $1,500, and here's what the minimum monthly payment is, okay? So that's a big difference. But as far as a credit card goes, even though it's a credit card or a charge card, American Express is my favorite card of choice because of what they represent. I hope you guys found that helpful. If that was interesting for you, cool, tell me. If there's any other questions you have about it, let me know. That's why I'm here, guys. I'm here to help educate you guys the best that I can so that we can all live a little bit of a better life financially. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.